While dozens of bills died at 5 o'clock tonight, lawmakers will be here until next Thursday night, and they have been known to resurrect bills already declared dead. So those passionate about the issues say it's too early to celebrate or to give up on their bills. Question for the Senate is final pass of substitute House Bill 23. They know it's a long shot, but they don't want lawmakers to forget about them. And the orange helps them stick out. We want to show all of our members, our good gun violence prevention members, that we're here to support them. Members of the Alliance for Gun Responsibility. That'd be cool. Spend the final days of the legislative session in the gallery above the floor, even when members aren't there sometimes, to serve as a reminder and to keep tabs on bills they hope can come back to life. Like the measure to give the state patrol the authority to destroy weapons it seizes and the bill to limit gun magazine sizes. We do think that not taking a vote on this really important piece of legislation is a missed opportunity to help prevent gun violence and help prevent mass shootings that do use high capacity magazines. I don't think it's a celebration. It's not. You know, I, I'm fighting for Washington's daughters. Over in the House, Representative Jenny Graham likes to think her story helped keep a ban on the death penalty from coming up for a vote. In 1982, her sister, Debbie Estes, was killed by the Green River Killer, later identified as Gary Ridgway. Ridgway avoided being sentenced to death because he cooperated with police, confessing to dozens of murders police couldn't connect him to. Graham says prosecutors need that tool to give murder victims' families resolution. She hopes the death penalty debate is truly dead. Anything could happen, you know, and again, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on doing what I need to do to, to bring some balance back to our justice system. While the death penalty looks like it will remain on the state's law books, the governor has said he will not sign any death warrants while he's in office. And the state Supreme Court says unless the current law changes, the death penalty cannot be used in the state of Washington. In Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.